Hey guys, welcome back to Tactical Expedition. Today, I want to talk about drains. Not that drain. In California right now, it's pouring, thunderstorm is coming. So I've been reading some forums and some Taycan owners have a water drain problem, but there's not too many subjects online regarding Taycan. There's a lot for uh, Cayenne, Macan, I guess they have a huge water drain issue from the sunroof area or you know the rear drain system or the front. And I just use a screwdriver to sort of poke it. So I'm on the, the front side of the car, driver's side. There we go, now the sunroof will drain but they don't really talk about for Taycan so I want to make a quick video uh, because it's raining a lot you know I don't have a problem right now but to prevent any future problems and I'll talk about why this is pretty important 2022 Taycan rear wheel drive you know it's very very nice with the RS spider wheels a um, lot of the options it looks very nice a lot of the Taycan owners have been complaining that when you go to the rear seat and look at this area after the rain or car wash and they're saying that it is flooded. After heavy rain, I came across this big issue where the passenger side footwells were totally soaked. Uh, for me, I feel a little bit of a dampness there. I don't want to leave this car overnight and flooding happens. I'll, I'll include some pictures. To prevent that, I was doing some research and found this underneath the front and the rear door, that seam. So if you go under the car, see, there's the drain area. You will discover this plugged in. So you can just remove it very easily with a flathead screwdriver. You just pull it down on the edge and just comes out. Look at how dirty it is. I found two more plugs just like that. The one is here behind the, the rear wheel and right behind the front wheel there so total you have these three plugs front middle and rear and that's the drain plugs if you look at it it has a plastic barrier blocks the debris from coming in but uh, releases the water there's a softer membrane um, it's like a thin silicone film this doesn't drain the water well. So I guess they have a problem with these drains. So uh, on the instruction in the middle, I think they did it for my car, but the, the instruction was to remove the membrane. And I'll include the PDF file of actual Porsche service, like a PDF file. So the instruction is to push that out with the tool like this. Okay, now it's out and you can like push this out through here like that. It came off. Okay, you can put it back if you want. So I'll save this. I'll show you how it doesn't drain the water well. One without the, the silicone seal. See, this water drains, right? But see this one with the seal, It's leaking from the side, but it's going to be inside the plastic, so it's not draining at all, right? So I don't know. Still not draining. So let me push this in. Okay, so it is not as good, but I guess they put that so bugs don't crawl up on your car and maybe build a nest or whatever. For my issues, I'm going to take this out, have the drainage uh, clear freely. So that's what I want to do. So it has both sides. There's three on left side, three on right side, left and right side. So it came out. It's very easy to put it back if, if you wanted to put it back. So just save these just in case. But uh, now I have uh, three clear ones, three of the membranes. Uh, for me, there's not enough information to find these drain tubes to cut it or like make a hole to drain better. Um, there's a lot more information regarding the Cayenne and Macan, but not for Taycan at all. Have you seen the dreaded red warning light regarding your battery? I think it's because 
these plugs are clogged up and there's water built on the bottom high voltage battery area and uh, causing an issue. I'm an exception because I garage my car and in California where I live, there's no rain. Like maybe this will get exposed maybe, I don't know, 20 days out of the year uh, of rain. These places like, you know, England or Europe, uh, New York, East Coast, where there is just pouring rain every day and you park this outside, I think water will just puddle very, very fast frequently and without properly draining. So, I mean, you can check that. Uh, some videos of uh, Cayenne, once you remove those uh, plugs, you know, waters are pouring out. And also in California, the roads are very, very clean. There's no dirt, there's no debris, I mean, usually. But then other parts of people who drive this in out, you know, like back roads or whatever, you know, there's a lot of dirt and debris and leaves. It'll get clogged those systems and puddle of water in the floorboard of the rear seats. So uh, right now mine is a little bit damp, but uh, you know, when I unplug these, um, there's no water coming in, but there was a uh, wetness there. So I drove back, applied the brakes hard, drove front, and I went back and forth, back and forth to maybe have the water drain properly. And you know, one time I remember about six months ago when I was driving and I applied the brakes, I swear I heard water slushing sound. Uh, from the rear of my car like underneath my seat and I didn't think much of it at the time But that's when I parked this car or drove it during the rainy season I think it cleared all out because you know, like I said my roads are very clean roads like freeways or regular street roads Where there's no leaves or dirt or anything like that But even then there's a little bit of a debris black tar type of gunk in there so you know there's six drain plugs that you can take it out very very easily accessible and just to do maintenance to prevent your future the battery failure or something you know i'm sure if if your high voltage battery is sitting on the puddle of water inside and it's not getting drained water is gonna rot first of all and second you know obviously it's electrical system even though it's sealed they say who knows what's gonna happen and i i think that's why it's causing those issues and it's very frequent if you visit any tycon forums that's all they talk about you know car stopped or you know i have to stop my car and take this car to the dealership for like two months three months nine months to uh, replace the entire battery this is just to uh, share information that i found today on my own <laughs> Uh, for those subscribers who subscribe to my channel, thank you so much. I will <laughs> make more Taikan videos, I swear. I have two pending, but I'm just trying to uh, film it better. <laughs> and I'll probably do more videos of my uh, Tesla Y before I replace this with a Cybertruck. But I don't know when. Uh, hopefully it comes soon. Probably I can afford a beast mode, but if not, I'll get the dual motor. I don't know the option pricing. You know, I think just the dual motor itself is like over 100,000 with the options. <laughs> I might get rid of the Y or I might get rid of Taycan. I, I'm not sure. And have my wife drive a Cybertruck, you know, <laughs> because she'll want to drive the Porsche, I, I guarantee. Um, anyway, anyways, thank you for viewing my video. Subscribe if you haven't. I know. 95% of the return viewers are not subscribed on the YouTube analytics. So please help me out. Anyways, thank you and see you on the next one.